This is Aurora selfie vlogging. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Let's forget the things we can't change, the tears and the shame. We've so much to gain if our hearts beat for the here and the now. We'll make it somehow. What do you say? Look up to the sky and see the light. morning keep it crazy family so if you follow our Instagram you probably saw why we didn't post on YouTube yesterday and that was because Aurora started having seizures again and we had just a really really hard day um, she woke up about 7 a.m. had her first seizure the hard part about Aurora's seizures is she doesn't just have one and then we're done um, she continues to have them over and over and over and the scary part about it is she doesn't recover in between the seizures so they always the doctors always say we like to see her come to kind of acting like herself before she has another seizure or well, Aurora doesn't do that unfortunately she has one after another after another she had two huge ones um, they were tonic clonic um, another name for them is grand mall and she had two of them within 20 minutes of each other so she wasn't even able to recover from one before she had another so at that point I did give her her rescue medication um, and it took her probably four hours to be able to recover and you know somewhat start acting like herself and so and it was really scary I did call her doctor and here's a clip of us talking I want to go ahead and make a slight increase in the medication Okay. okay, she recognizes that the aquaculture by the team right now is at four milliliters twice a day. Is that yes, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, so we're just going to make a little bit of an increase. We're just going to go keep the four milliliters in the morning, and we're just going to go up to five, okay, at bedtime. Okay. Okay, and that's going to be for seven days. Okay, then after that, um, give me a call. Let me know how she's doing. Um, but she then still wants to go up to five in the morning and five at night. So like the one this morning, like she had one and then it was an hour in between, but she never like came back to herself or anything. Um, and then she had another one and then 20 minutes later had another one. Okay. And then when did you get a clonazepam? At what point did you guys get the clonazepam? So after she had those two in a row that were like 20 minutes apart and she wasn't okay. coming back to herself, I gave it to her after that third one. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. You did everything right. Um, so, no, I'm not quite, so we don't know why she clustered like that. Because sometimes people do. We just don't know why. The doctor and I did talk for a while, and one of the things that I was asking her is how do we know what type of epilepsy she has? And unfortunately, there's no like certain test to be like, okay, she has this type of epilepsy. It's kind of done over a period of time to see what kind of seizures, how often, is medication working, all these different factors to see what type of epilepsy she has. One of the things that was mentioned is LGS, which is really scary. It's a rare type of epilepsy that is more severe and it is not easily controlled with medication which is scary and a lot of times they have the seizures in clusters like aurora aurora doesn't come out of her seizures unless we give her rescue medication she'll just keep having them having them having them so it's really scary to think that she might have that um, but i guess time will tell she is getting an eeg done um, in a couple months so that they were six months apart from her first one to kind of see if there's any changes or kind of what's going on with their also there has been recommended to me a hospital in Salt Lake City Utah that is amazing with stuff like this and they have where they do genetic testing and they can go into a lot deeper of the condition they can see if she does have autism they can get all the different things and really dive into the genes part of it so I think we're gonna do that. We looked into it yesterday and unfortunately they have a year waiting list just to go because I guess everybody from around the world goes to these, this certain hospital to get things like this done. So 
but the sooner we get the process started, the sooner she can get seen and we can get some more answers with her. Just to let you guys know, uh, after about that four hour period, she did recover. She was doing really good, acting like herself, playing. She was still really tired all day and did a lot of sleeping and, and it was just a big process. The hardest part about this whole thing is that Aaron's not here and that I'm already being a single mom right now while he's out of town and it is so difficult it's difficult just in general i mean i was feeling really overwhelmed our garbage disposal broke our air conditioner broke so our house was super warm um it was just i felt like thing after thing after thing the other really big thing that happened that i'm still really upset about is i lost aurora's seizure watch well i didn't lost, lose it she took it off and i have no idea where she put it we've I literally told the kids if they find it, I will give them $20. And I had every kid search in the entire house and we still have not found it yet. So it scares me at this point because she is not wearing her watch. So I'm constantly watching her on the baby monitor or being in the same room as her because I don't have that extra protection and I don't have Erin here to help. So it's just super hard at this point. I'm feeling, sorry, I wasn't gonna cry. I'm feeling super overwhelmed um, just in general and it's just it's difficult it's difficult to stay positive it's difficult to stay strong for your kids when you're going through so much it doesn't help that I'm pregnant on top of it and my hormones are probably all over the place so I'm already a mess and food is so gross to me right now it's just one of my symptoms but the smell of food is really gross which is hard to cook dinner for 10 kids when everything smells so gross to me so the kids have been helping out a lot some of the older kids have been making dinner which i really appreciate and i know that every trial every hard thing that we go through in life it makes us stronger it makes us know that we can get through hard things um thankfully shelly and jared came over yesterday and helped out a lot they fixed the air conditioner thank goodness <laughs> so our house is nice and cool now so it's definitely nice to have people to lean on and to help you and when times get difficult, but I know we'll get through this. Um, so I did record a video the day before all of this happened that I wanted to show you of the other things that were going on. So here's all those clips. We are on our way to the dermatologist for Hallie. So about a month ago, she started Accutane and that's only because we tried all the different options. We tried the creams, we tried her diet, we tried changing so much and the dermatologist just said if we don't do something drastic or something to fix it that she was gonna get scars on her face so because she was having cystic acne which is really bad so she's been on Accutane for the month and here is her before picture and now here's what she looks like after doesn't it look so much better she still has a few more months on Accutane and we're gonna go into the dermatologist right now and see what they think All right, so the dermatologist said that he wasn't even expecting this good of results this soon. So he is so excited and he thinks she only has to do it for two more months and then she'll I'm be completely so happy. done. Yay, I'm so excited for you. All right, now we are all starving. Yes. So we are gonna go get some lunch. Where do you wanna eat? No, 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 I know, I know. Wendy's, because Wendy's has a lot of gluten-free items. That's true. Okay, we're gonna do Wendy's, is that okay? Yeah. So we are gonna be feeding our chickens. It's really cool because they've gotten so big. It's crazy. But like they eat all the time, so we have to feed them like two to three times a day. It's crazy. So we start off, we just get their food bowl. It's pretty empty. Oh shoot. Yep, so it's pretty empty and so we're gonna go fill it up. They go crazy when they get new food. So here's the bag of food. It's really small, and so you just gotta like pick it up and sprinkle it in. Um, 
this takes a few minutes, so I'll catch you guys in a few minutes. Aw, they're so cute. They have like mm -hmm. little mohawks, it looks like. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they're so cute. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna put this in the bottom. Put it on the bottom. <laughs> 